Sunday, March, mm, I'm not sure, 12th, I think, 2022, and uh, a little look at my garden. Um, that compost thing didn't work out the way I had it. I, I need to redo that. In here, these are all new, but uh, this is full of potatoes on half of it that I put in Yukon Golds the other day, maybe a week ago. And then there's this fig tree. I, I, I kind of wrapped it because the uh, deer were picking off the little figs, but that's what that is. That'll be a fig this year. That's There's one. There's one. There's, so there's going to be a lot of figs on this if the deer didn't come over and get it. Back here I planted some uh, daffodils. Just brighten things up a bit. Oh, and back there I got a strawberry patch that I've covered to uh, keep the animals out. Hopefully get some strawberries. But in the greenhouse, some kind of things that grew well the uh, parsley that grew all winter um, the spinach back there I planted we hardly ate any of it I kind of I don't know I didn't care for it but this lettuce we've been picking um, I could use about an acre of that for Diane the way she eats lettuce and then this year for the spring or late winter crop I've got uh, uh, carrots in here just coming up. Seem to be doing pretty good. Here's some sugar snap peas. I had this all planted and about half had sprouted up and I actually planted them out in the backyard and then redid this yesterday with one or two seeds in each. Those are sweet peas that haven't come up yet. Um, let's see some uh, this is a red lettuce that hasn't come up yet and this is arugula it's doing well some more things I planted yet last yesterday cilantro dill and another kind of dill mammoth and ducat and uh, then some Siberian kale right here. So all these I'm hoping that I can harvest and get them before uh, I come in here later with tomato plants and uh, and uh, peppers and things like that. This is where my water system comes into this container and I've drilled a bunch of holes in there to hopefully keep out you know mosquitoes and stuff like that. This is a little drill powered pump. It's too slow but I don't know I'm going to try to use it. Um, more uh, parsley. Some more seeds. The first one is a red acre cabbage. The next one is fava beans and then another fava bean and that one that's growing out there on the right broccoli. And uh, back here, some endive. So those are doing good. Those I'll probably plant outside. The red cabbage is coming up. Fava beans, not yet. And there's my water coming in the other side. Another uh, parsley that's growing. That stuff does really well through the winter. And uh, then down here, these are French breakfast radishes and these are cherry bell radishes and uh, that's kind of what's going on in here all the uh, things I used to hang the tomato plants I've left up here and my I had a lot of stuff uh, hanging off of those oh and then I brought this in and I moved the water from those uh, rectangular things into this barrel so I can store a lot more and kind of have some uh, liquid mass to hopefully kind of hold heat 
It's not going to be warm in here while well, it's warm in here now. But, uh, you know, keep it from freezing in here. And uh, that's it.